A great atmosphere. Who will win the world title? Will it be that man, Greg Hancock? Nicky Pedersen back on home territory and Oli Olsen celebrating the 40th anniversary of his first ever world title win back in 1971 in the Ullaby Stadium. Controversy early on as Nicky Pedersen was excluded for taking out Bjarni Pedersen, his fellow countryman. It was tough, it was ruthless and in the restart, Greg Hancock who had that 17 point lead going into the, fir the uh, first race of the night, he went on and got three points under his belt. Frustration for Harris of Great Britain, first to last, typical of the way his season has been going so far. Yarek Hampel looked very quick and continued to pile the pressure on Hancock and he actually beat Greg Hancock and had that belief that he could still overhaul the American to win the World Championship. Some good racing under the lights at Voyans, Golub and Pedersen, great respect between the two world champions and then we saw Lindgren and Harris involved in a rare old battle as well. Jason Crump hit the dirt and went on to get through to the semi-finals on a terrific night of racing. There was a bit of confusion over the draw. Laguta and Saifudinov had to swap semi-finals in the end. Hancock made no mistake at all from the inside gate with a stunning start to go on and take the victory and head through to the final. Chris Holder joined him. Nicky Pedersen had a great night, back on form, but Hancock clawing away and building up towards the victory. Jason Crump made the final again, good to see him with his first final of the year, look what it meant to him, punch the air with delight. Inside gate once again for Hancock as he had first pick for the place in the final. Crump went off the outside but there was, once again was Greg Hancock off the inside making a super start. Controversy as Lindgren took out Holder, Holder wasn't happy with it but it was a win for Hancock, the only rider to ride in every Grand Prix since the inception of the competition back in 1995. Greg Hancock then 31 points clear of Yarek Hampel with two rounds of the World Championship still to go.